go. It's the big moment. Oh my gosh. Okay. There we go. So basically, um, so far so good. So I'll have two transfer switches. This is my 6-3 wire. It's actually uh, L1, L2, common, and a ground. And that's where we're gonna stop when this hits where you're at. Okay, you measured that out, huh? Yeah. This is our, where we snow plowed in Florida. I've got my two holes cut for my two transfer switches. This is the input from this side. I've got them all wired up. All my circuits are wired. Uh, so now this transfer switch is powered by the utility and by the solar. So I should be able to switch to line or to gen. Look at that. Yay. Okay, so I got this side all wired up. So today I thought I'd do a little update, show you what it looks like all buttoned up. I added these two guys. Uh, this is for the L1 channel and the L2 channel. So I got 122 volts, currently pulling one amp, 92 watts. And I just zoomed in on the controls here. And now this goes into my security camera system. That camera that's looking at all the meters. This uh, Magnum MagWeb. Okay, it's 921. We're at 89% charged. It's going up fast. Here we go with the dryer. About 6,500 watts total being pulled by the house. About 130 amps coming off the panel which is almost break even about, you know 6,000 watts here all right so today i'm going to work on my hydrolink watering kit so i got all the caps on so the next thing is to take these little caps all right now i got both sides done so I got a filler end over here and a filler end over there. Let's get this off of here, cap that over. That side's done. Generator, it's the PowerMax XP8500. This is an old generator. I got plug here. So All right, charging. Oh. Starting to pull some power out of that Jenny. 110. 50, that's like 5,000 watts. You can save a lot of money on your energy bill by replacing all your regular old uh, lights that use a lot of power, generate a lot of heat with the LEDs that have. Today I'm doing a test of the system's ability to switch over to the utility and charge the batteries when the batteries are getting low. Yeah, four of the midnight solar uh, surge protectors. Bring this up here like this. On. Got our LEDs, LEDs, everybody's on. Looks like things are operational. They're both lit up and hopefully we've got this a little better protected. But we're gonna actually drive this with electricity generated from the solar panels. Let's see what we got here. Oh man, that's not that bad. Oh. All right, we got some more corrosion on this one. Wow. And it is pulling about 3,500 watts. Seems to be working. 800 watts going through this panel here. Today I'm gonna to talk about how I run my two window unit air conditioners off solar. 553 watts, and we pulled 3.89 kilowatt hours so far today. But we found that we're saving about $43 a month and in our case, we're not grid tied, so we're not selling excess power back to the utilities. So either we use it or we lose it. So this is a good way to capture that energy. Uh, in fact, we might even add a couple more of these wall units because they're only about $200 a piece. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.